we is an amazing concept where we the people buy this defaulted debt and we liberate ourselves, we set ourselves free. And I learned so much, I was saying earlier about mortgage debt, that I, I really have practically a graduate degree in economics. But I found this stuff is kind of dry, hard for people to follow, so I wrote this handy little song to help you remember, okay? <laughs> the problem is all inside your head, she said to me. The answer's rather easy if you take it logically. I'd like to help you in your struggle to be free. There must be 50 ways to loathe your lender. <laughs> 50 ways to load your lender. Check this out, y'all. You just call it fraud. Fraud. You know it's a scam. Sam. You're selling us swindle. Wendell, you listen to me. You threw us under the bus. Yeah, we're broke and disgusted. We're calling for a year of jubilee. And we're gonna set ourselves free. We are the 99%. Somos el 99%. Hey, that's not easy. I learned how to say that. I've been speaking so much more Spanish at uh, Occupy because there's all these folks who, because of our broken political system, do not have a voice. The best solution we could come up with: non-priority status immigrant. <laughs> That's, that's a euphemism for keep your head low, stay out of trouble, we won't mess with you, you won't mess with us. Blanca Cardenas is such a non-priority status immigrant, and I had the privilege of meeting her at Occupy Los Angeles in this foreclosure committee I work with. She, she's married to a U.S. citizen, she has two children, one of whom she's breastfeeding, U.S. citizens, but Blanca herself was brought to this country when she was six years old. She doesn't have a green card, she doesn't have a visa. What she does have is a mortgage with Bank of America. <laughs> and uh, here's what happened. In 2008, when the economy turned upside down, Blanca went to Bank of America to see if she could get one of these loan modifications. And here's what the bank did. It's a type of fraud that we've identified called dual tracking. The bank tells you that to qualify for a loan modification, you gotta miss a couple of payments. In other words, you've got a default. The bank tells you that that's what you do to qualify. Meanwhile, they immediately begin foreclosure proceedings. This happened to Blanca, and by the time she found out about it, it was too late. They had foreclosed on her, so she filed for bankruptcy protection. But that was too late. Illegally, the bank sold her house at an auction, and the investor grew very impatient, waiting for this legal process to play out. So here's what he did. He came to Blanca's house, She's standing in the doorway of her own house, and he calls the LAPD. The cops have no jurisdiction over evictions. That's the sheriff's department. So the cops aren't trained for these things, and they show up, and the investor shows his papers, proving that he's bought the house at an auction. They don't know that it's illegal. Blanca is standing in the door of her own house, showing that she's got not only the papers to the house, but the bankruptcy protection. The cops have to make a judgment call. Who do you think got arrested that day? Blanca Cardenas was arrested and taken down to the Van Nuys jail, charged with trespassing in her own home. But they didn't release her after she posted the $100 bail. They turned her over to ICE, Immigration and Customs, and they fast-tracked a deportation on Blanca Cardenas. And when we got the text message at Occupy Vice Foreclosure, we raced down to City Hall trying to tell them the story. But they only give you a minute. I've been doing this for a while. I can do it three minutes or less, but a minute, that's not much time. So we got over to the detention center where they were holding her, but we were too late. We saw the white bus carrying Blanca Cardenas taking her back to Tijuana. And the strangest thing of all, y'all, was this detention center. It's about a block long, about a city block long, about 10 stories high, to a man. The prisoners had taken to covering over the bottom half of their prison cells, the windows, and standing and waving their hand over the top part that shows the light. For all the earth, it looked like, like the Death Star or a twinkling starry night. I can't even begin to tell you how that impressed me, this vision of all these prisoners. I don't know. I don't know what you think about it, but this is my song, The Ballad of Blanca Cardenas. We really cheer her up she hears us singing this, and we have not forgotten her plight. All right, you going to string this? Go for it. All right, there's Jeff over there in the corner. Is the light enough? Can you get up in their faces? <laughs> <laughs> 